what made you realize, okay, this is something that needs to be investigated further? Are you already at this level of knowledge of ant keeping or ants that you're able to distinguish between oh you know my. different species? <laughs> like if Peach I see fuzz. it, I don't yeah. see. Yeah. I, I, I do like red, black, big, and small. <laughs> it's very specific. Like <laughs> peach, yeah. peach fuzz. Peach yeah. fuzz with spines. <laughs> yeah. it's not, oh my it's goodness. not yeah. something you yeah, do every day. Go, go ahead. Yeah, so um, I've been working with ants for a long time now and have been living in the Philippines for 11 years. So I know most of wow. the common species. But then when I notice something that's different, like this Murano Plus bicolor, I was like, hey, this is different. So I scooped it up in a little test tube and I sent it over to my ant taxonomist friend, right. Dr. David General from UPLB. And lo and behold, he determined it was something that had never been documented in the Philippines before. Now, Mikey, I heard that there might be a 556th species accredited to you. Can you tell us about that new species of ant? And did, yes. was it also in your garden? Oh, wow. Yes, it was just in my backyard here in Cavite. Wow. Can you believe I've already made three scientific discoveries yes. just by... <laughs> Um, yeah, so there is an ant that might be a brand new undiscovered species. It belongs to the genus Chromatogaster, and I talk about it on my channel on YouTube, Ants Can. Um, it's, we're waiting for confirmation. This is going to take a little longer to tell because Dr. David General has to compare it with all the records of literally okay. thousands of ant species. So um, yeah, we're really excited. I'm hoping it's new. That would be great. Mm -hmm.